All right, and finally, the last problem. So it says, make a scatter plot. And I see these are a lot of negative numbers, and these are all positive. So I'm going to make my x-axis right at the top, and my y-axis right on this edge. And I'm going to count this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And to get to negative 18, let's see, two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 would be two more. This is minus 16, minus 12. Minus 10, minus 18 would be down about here. So now I can graph it. 2.2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4.5. 3.5, negative 8.3, 8.3. Four point oh nine negative nine point seven. One point two negative one point six. Five point four negative thirteen point six. Third twelve thirteen point. 12, 13, 10, okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, negative 10 is here, oops, this is negative 12, negative 14, so I got to go back and fix the one at 3.5 is at negative 8.3. And the one at 4 is at negative 9.7. All right. Now I'm on, let's see here. One point, so I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm on 5.4, negative 13.6. 13.6. 7, I'm at negative 18. And 0. 0.7, I'm at negative 0. 0.1. And at 2.9, I'm at negative 6.5. Negative 2.9, negative 6, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6.5. At negative 2.9, or 2. Point, yeah. So, looking at these, um, here we go. They look almost like a straight line. So there's the graph. That would have been two points. Now let's see if we, if we let's go to our calculator now and determine the model. Should it be the straight line? So stat, edit, and let's make sure we got the numbers in here. 2.2, 3.5, got those. Negative 4.5, 8.3, 9.7. Okay, got those. So then I go stat, calculate. The line that goes through list one, comma, list two, comma, put that into y bars number one. And I've got my diagnostics off here, so I'm going to turn them on by going to catalog and go down to the D's and find diagnostics on, press enter, press enter. Then I'm going to go back and do that last one again. And it says the R value is 
8. 9997. Nine, nine, That's the R squared. And let's see. Now let's do the quadratic stat. Calculate the quadratic regression using list 1, comma, list 2, comma, and let's put it in Y2. And it has an R squared value of 0.9999. So it says that the quadratic is actually a better fit than the linear. But the two models are, for the linear, it was, they're both really, really close, really close to one. So you could use either one. For the quadratic, it's uh, 0 0.02. Uh, 1x squared minus 3.002x uh, plus 1.989. That's kind of written over top of that, but I wanted to keep it in line with that. The linear model was negative 2.8x. 2.843x, keeping this three digits like I did in the other, plus 1.774. Now, which is better? Well, based on the R squared, the quadratic would be better. If you said they both fit really well, let's take a look at the graph of these. Zoom 9 for stata statistics. Oops. I didn't turn a stat plot on. So second, uh, second y equals stat plot. Turn it on using list one and two. Now let's go zoom nine. There's the data and the line. And then here's the parabola. And you really can't tell much difference from the graph. So if, if I had a case like that, I would just go with the line just because it's the simpler equation. But if I were to zoom out, you'll see that one curves and one stays straight, and we really don't know which way it goes with this data because this section of it is too straight. So you need to make an argument for your choice and give me the model. This is two, and make an argument for choosing linear or quadratic. If you argued for using the R squared values, then you would have gotten bonus points. And that's it.